Good morning, everybody. I am coming to you once again this morning from the city of Chicago, Illinois. It is at this location here at Kathy Osterman Beach uh, here at Ardmore Avenue at the very top of the Chicago Lakefront Trail that we are going to ride my Chicago Lakefront Trail revetment ride. So what we're going to do this morning is take basically the most inefficient way possible to the end of the Chicago Lakefront Trail down at 71st Street. Uh, so what I'm going to do is try and stay off the Lakefront Trail as much as possible. We're going to ride every revetment that we can ride. We're going to check out every connected breakwater that we can ride on and basically make our way all the way down to the end of the trail. All right, let me show you what this looks like. So we're going to start right off here. We're not even going to take the trail. The trail is right over here. We're just going to right on the side over here, right to the beach, and then on some grass. So we're gonna ride a variety of trail surfaces today, including paved trails, unpaved trails. I think we go through some gravel. We'll definitely go through some grass, maybe some sand. So we're gonna ride right along the edge here. As you can see, anywhere we're able to pop out, we're gonna try and pop out into the water, uh, which is something you can definitely do at Montrose Beach. We're gonna ride the revetments all the way around extremely inefficient uh, but very cool uh, we're gonna make our way all the way down uh, we're gonna go all the way around Navy Pier since it sticks out into the water uh, I found a pier over here we're gonna check out too uh, and then we're gonna make our way into museum campus now there is a revetment around museum campus it basically starts here right along the lakefront trail and rides right along the revetment all the way to here. Now, if you're not on a big heavy e-bike, you can make your way over there. I believe it ends at rocks and grass and stuff. Uh, but for my heavy e-bike, we're gonna just backtrack that one portion and get back on. So, and then we're gonna continue making our way. There's a couple spots here I don't actually have notes for. We'll just figure it out when we get there. And we will eventually end here at 71st Street. It's a Tuesday morning here, just past 9 a.m. Uh, it is probably, unfortunately, one of the last 80 degree days in Chicago, today being October 3rd. Uh, so it's going to get nice and warm today. So uh, that's good. So it's definitely worth taking a day off to enjoy uh, checking out the Chicago lakefront before it starts getting colder. Uh, today has a high of 85. I believe Saturday is going to have a high of 53 degrees. So we're going to lose a bunch of heat over the next coming days. Now, before we get started, I just wanted to go over my revetment riding rules, which may be useful if you've never ridden revetments before. My number one rule, don't fall into Lake Michigan. Number two, Watch out for glass. I've ridden the revetments early in the year and later in the year, and glass is not as much of a problem as it is during summer, unfortunately. So pay attention to what you're riding on and be sure to avoid that glass. And lastly, number three, water may be slippery. One of the things I've learned in the past two years in riding these is sometimes when you encounter water on a revetment, it's just simply water on concrete, not that big of a deal. And other times it's slimy and therefore very slippery. So just be cautious on a wet revetment because one moment you might have traction and another moment you might not. I would also suggest riding this on a nice day. This video footage here from CBS Chicago was taken 12 days after I shot the revetment ride. So respect the power of the lake because if it's ever you versus the lake, odds are Lake Michigan's going to win. Right now at 1130, a lakeshore flood warning in effect, and this is the reason why. Look at that cyclist there, knocked down by big waves on the bike path this morning. That cyclist is okay. I'm super excited to get started, so let's get started. Our first stop here, uh, Kathy Osterman Beach. Uh, it looks like there is in fact a restaurant that opened after I finished the pub crawl that does in fact serve liquor here at uh, Kathy Osterman Beach. So keep that in mind for next year. All right, always fun to go through squishy sand with a fat tire bike, especially an e-bike makes it more fun. Uh, so right here, uh, we're right by what All Trails Map calls Hollywood Avenue Breakwater Light. 
which is down this way over here. As you can see, there's a guy walking down there. Uh, there, unfortunately, is no real easy way to get an e-bike, a heavy e-bike down here. Uh, they have to go down all of these steps and down the level down here to get down. So there are a lot more revetments are a lot more accessible than this one for a big heavy e-bike. But as you can see, the revetment goes all the way around to Foster Beach, which is just right over there. We've made it to Foster Beach here. Uh, All Trails calls this the Foster Avenue Breakwater Light here. As you can see, uh, just like the one by Ardmore at Kathy Osterman Beach, this one here is also not very easily accessible uh, by e-bike. Uh, you can see it's all ripped apart. There's no real easy access that I can see from this point. Over this way is the Trapeze School. We've made it to Montrose Beach here, uh, just a tiny little bit on the uh, lakefront trail, but otherwise we've ridden two miles so far, uh, basically avoiding the bike trail. Uh, if you remember from the pub crawl ride, which I did earlier this summer, uh, the dock at Montrose Beach is right here. Uh, they're still set up. I don't know if they're closed for the season or what, but it does appear they're all uh, still set up with tables and stuff. So not sure if they're still open though. Basically dead here on these beaches, but it looks like they do have security. I mean, I think there's a security van over there. So I've seen one at every one of the beaches. I saw one uh, at Kathy Osterman Beach, Foster Beach, and now over here. All right, so as you can see, we made it to the Montrose Beach uh, breakwater here. Uh, this one's a cool one because it uh, coils all the way around. Uh, once you get here, uh, you get a good view of the beach. And all over this uh, breakwater here, you can see uh, the Chicago winters really beat the hell out of these things all over. This, de this one definitely needs work. Uh, definitely passable on a fat tire bike, but still definitely need some work here.
so as you can see, we made our way all the way around this Montrose Harbor area. And then right now we're at the, the green light here. There's the red one over there. Uh, if you remember, we just pulled down there. So you could pull down these. This one's a lot easier to access. Uh, this one over here, you gotta do a little ramp system, but it's definitely doable. One of the things I really like about the Montrose Beach area is uh, when you come in here by the beach, you get to see the water, you could do the breakwater here, you could do the revetments all the way around the harbor. Uh, very cool. I really like this area here. All right, so as you saw, we went all the way around Belmont Harbor here. Uh, you could definitely take the long way around that. So this here, very popular fishing spot. Uh, we're gonna take the revetment down this way and just head towards Diversity Harbor. All right, so we are off the revetment now. Uh, we're right by the entrance to Diversity Harbor, which is this way over here. Earlier this year, I made a sculpture video. This is Chevron. Chevron was one of more than 100 locations that we stopped on that sculpture ride.
All right, so we're at the end of this revetment just south of Fullerton, all of which is south of uh, Diversity Harbor, which was over there. Uh, over this way was Theater on the Lake that we passed. Down this way, the rest of the revetment connects up with the walking trail, and we're going to ride the walking trail all the way into North Avenue Beach. That's what this beach is over here. And we're going to take that all the way to the breakwater, uh, which you can do right over here, and it starts to coil up. The bike says we're 10 miles into a roughly 30 mile journey, so we're about one third of the way through, uh, being very inefficient as we make our way south. I should also note the spot where I'm at right now turned out to be a really good spot to watch the air show. We have made it to North Avenue Beach here. Uh, we took the breakwater all the way out to the end here. As you can see, a lot of these, uh, there's people already here. So uh, depending on the weather, especially on a day like today, uh, there definitely tends to be people enjoying these as well. Back over that way, you can see the bridge that'll take you into Lincoln Park, uh, right over Lakeshore Drive. Uh, you can see the Shore Club over there, when we rode past it, completely closed. All of their uh, furniture, their outdoor furniture and stuff is gone. Uh, you can see the boat over here uh, for North Avenue Beach, and then one hell of a great view this way. Uh, being early October, you can see a crew here taking down this. Uh, during the summer, they have uh, Wave Runners parked here, I believe, uh, for the Wave Runner rentals that they have. As you saw, I rode Concrete Beach, basically in between North Avenue Beach and over this way, Oak Street Beach. There's this strip here that Google calls Concrete Beach. So uh, basically there's a drop off, as you could see, to the sand, so not the best way to go straight ahead. You do, uh, over there, uh, you do have the ability to go up those ramps and back onto the trail. Uh, right there would be access to the bike trail and the walking trail. Uh, or it looks like you could make it through the sand some and then probably kick in over there. Uh, I got these big fat tires, so I think I'm just going to try the sand. It's not very far. Uh, I could always crab walk it if I need to, just uh, give it some power with the throttle and keep my feet off of the pedals. Uh, but definitely the more adventurous way, so the worst that could happen is I'll slide out and fall in the sand. So let's hope that doesn't happen.
All right, we are as far south as Ohio Street Beach here, Cafe Oliva, and they are still open. So while we're over here, uh, we're trying to stay as close to the water as we can for most of this. So I might as well show you guys, if you've never ridden in this uh, Milton Lee Olive Park, uh, definitely worth checking out. You get a good view from here of the skyline over this way. And then we're just going to make our way going all the way around Navy Pier since it uh, sticks out into the water. As always, when given an opportunity, let's take a moment to recognize old Glory, waving in the breeze, as she should. This area, uh, during the summer, they do concerts here. Uh, tons of people here, uh, definitely accessible. We parked our bikes like right on the path here and set up a blanket and watched part of a concert. Very cool. Well, there's only so many ways to cross the Chicago River from the trail. So as you saw, we got back on the trail once we left Navy Pier. Uh, so now once we've crossed the river, we're on the other side here. Uh, there is a pier this way that we can go check out. We have made it to Museum Campus, uh, the Shedd Aquarium right over this way here. Uh, it's at this point that we're going to ride the revetment all the way around the Shedd Aquarium and the Adler Planetarium. Now, uh, once I get to the end here, I'm going to have to do a complete backtrack to this point. But if you're walking or you have a light enough bike, I believe you could take it right up some rocks.
All right, well, as you could see, I've uh, reached a dead end for me, unless you're lucky enough to have a stranger help you, uh, like the dude over there on the rental Divi bike. Uh, they were able to get it up the steps, and then once you can get up there, you're good. If you're walking, it's gonna obviously be super easy. Uh, but And if you have a light bike, it wouldn't be that difficult to make it uh, up to the grass there. But uh, since this bike is uh, loaded down for touring, uh, there's definitely no chance I could be able to make it up here. So I'm just gonna backtrack, get back to where we were, and then uh, continue headed south. So it looks like I did not include the trail around Northerly Island, so we're just going to go check that out. Unlike the full loop that's shown here, it is definitely not a full loop right now. As you saw back there, there was a trail close sign. Uh, so if you're interested in checking out what this closed section looks like, we did ride it last year uh, on one of our first rides uh, into the Chicago Lakefront Trail area. But at this point, we're gonna backtrack and hop on this trail and you could get that much further and we'll be able to see what the other side of this detour looks like. We've made it to the other side of the detour. Uh, so it's this section uh, right in here that we're unable to ride. Uh, you can see some people down there. Uh, it's obviously a lot easier to do walking than it is uh, with a big heavy e-bike. Uh, so we're just gonna make our backtrack and then get ourselves back onto the Lakefront Trail and start heading south.
We've made it as far south as 63rd Street Beach. Uh, we're up on the 63rd Street breakwater here, which you could ride all the way to the end. Museum of Science and Industry up over here. So at this point, it uh, looks like it's mostly a straight shot just uh, to 71st Street at the end of the trail. There's a little bit of exploring we can do by the hospital, but other than that, uh, we're just gonna make our way towards 71st Street. All right, so we made it to the back of that children's hospital. Over here, you can see 63rd Street Beach. You can see the breakwater we just rode down. This one here, completely detached, so unable to ride on that. But I'm just gonna try hug this side of the water here all the way till we reconnect up to the trail. All right, so that does it for the Chicago Lakefront Trail revetment ride. Once you've checked out the Chicago Lakefront Trail, I definitely suggest following this revetment ride. It's a ton of fun. While you're covering the same area between Ardmore at the north and 71st Street at the south, you're basically turning what could be an 18-mile ride into a 34-mile adventure. Let me know what you think of this ride in the comments below. If you're familiar with these areas and know of places I should check out in the future, definitely let me know. As always, if you enjoy this content, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. It definitely helps the channel grow. If you are interested in supporting this channel and helping us get to more trails, please consider a super thanks. So that's all I got today from the Chicago Lakefront Trail Revetment Ride. I'll catch you on the next ride. Do you have a trail recommendation for me? Let me know in the comments below.